I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, this is gonna be funny. I'm in the gang. I'm in the I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm in I'm in the gang. 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 I am in I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm in the gang. I'm analyzing out the rip, you know. I'm in the gang. I'm in a gang. I am in a gang. Sean, where you grew up at? Queens. Oh, New York. Yeah. Where you from? Oh, Queens. Like, any neighborhood East, in Queens? Yeah, East Elmhurst, 97th Street. Okay, how about you, my man? East Dino. Where at? Guthrie's. Okay. Watching. San Gabriel Valley. I grew up in uh, West LA uh, from Playboy's Gang. Okay, where are you from? Compton. Okay, well, hey. Elm Street Power Room. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, they might get his ass out off of that shit right now. Okay, okay. Well, that's when I asked you where you from, but you told me Queens. I'm asking where you from. We're here to find out who's from the hood. Where you from? Huh? Again, East 16th, Newkirk. Okay, okay. We're getting his ass out of there. I'll throw it. I'm gonna call my Just people real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's the jail system over there where you at? You ever been in jail? I was in the feds and in the state, so okay. the federal game is totally different. So I was in MDC Brooklyn All right. and MCC Manhattan, which is for a federal pretrial. I did uh, three years in a juvenile and three years in the feds. All right. You went, man? Nah, not locked up. No time at all? How about you? I've been in YA, uh, Nellis YA. I was at SRCC first. Got out after that, 67 days, did, uh, what, eight years and some change. They gave me 10, 85%. As an adult? As it, oh, okay. So it took you went to Hawaii too, huh? Well, me, no, I, I, I miss Hawaii. I went from camp to, after that, to prison, San Quentin. What level were you in? Oh, uh, two. So how do they jump you guys in your hood over there where you're at from? How do they court you into the neighborhood? Hey, he grilling his ass. I ain't gonna lie, he grilling his ass. He knows, he knows up. I didn't get involved fully into gang stuff until I went into MDC Brooklyn. I got jumped in. And you went, man? Got jumped in. You jumped in? How many guys? About five. What they call them, remember? Or no. The guys that jumped you in? Oh, the homies. But what the homies' names? I remember the homies jumped me in. The homie Chapo, the homie Sinbad, the homie Trouble. All right. When somebody beats you up, you kind of remember who beats you up. <laughs> All right, the homie Dave, the homie Big Mike, and then other n****s, I didn't really know him. Okay. How old are you? 36. And you say you never been to jail? Nah, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I wasn't even into life like that, man. I was in to get money. It's me too. I'm all about money, but I still end up getting yeah. caught. So who jumped you in the Playboys? Dang, you, you took me way back. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad eyes, lazy, lucky, grumpy, baby tear, and munchy cheek. Well, so far, if I was to think, I'm thinking these two guys somewhere over here. I don't know why. I'm just, here. I just can't figure out which one it is, man. So. Hey, we didn't ask him no questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, I'm a yeah, certified yeah. player. I don't know oh, that. No, you did some research. Oh, well, you start this. Oh, hey, um, um, you know what? I, I, I started banging in 1989, North Hollywood, California, 91606. I'm from our Hollywood boys. They called me Stranger. I ended up going to YA in 91. I got committed for busting on some cops. My YA number is 63298. I did oh, yeah. six years. I lived through the whole 90s gang banging. And, uh, yeah. and now I'm here just, you know, share my story and kind of change the the way I changed my life. That's what it's for. And it's very cool to sit here and try to guess who was that person, you know, so that's what that's why I'm here for. He's just, his demeanor seemed like, like a cop to me. Like he had put on that sheriff shirt and like, yo, get a good you do like a cop. How long did you get jumped in for? It wasn't so much the time, because some would say, oh, 13, because out here south, but mine wasn't one of those. Man, I'm glad I didn't have to get jumped in. All my family from my neighborhood, so you know. I, oh, so you just yeah. you walked in, <laughs> huh? Oh, well, you didn't get jumped in? I didn't have to. You uh, no, we gotta jump a man. We gotta jump you a got man. Oh. Let, me, let me ask you guys one thing real quick, because you touch on what you were saying. A lot of people always say, especially when you're young, you knew what you signed up for and you signed up for the gang. Did you know what you were signing up for? Absolutely not. No, I was told. Yeah, I was told too. I was told Laid out like this. Oh, yeah. is <laughs> you, you, you were told, but yeah. sometimes you don't understand. When you're young, like, being told but understanding is yeah, a different no, thing. He he looks like he's in a gang, you know. She looks like she could be, but I don't forget. Yeah, for me, like I was definitely told. Well, mine didn't do that. Exactly. <laughs> they like, oh, you want to be from the set? Oh, here you go. This right here go. They did what to your brother? Go do that. They didn't tell me about me growing up in life. I'm gonna get shot back in return. I've been shot nine times, different occasions, ran over twice. One was accident and one wasn't. You know, it, that's not no life. Hey, I'm Cole, and I directed this episode of Odd One Out. If you like this episode and you want to see more like this, subscribe to our channel. I was about to skip it. You grew up in the streets. Yeah. You didn't been in jail from a juvenile to an adult. So when he said no, he never been in jail, oh no.
were South Siders, so we're 13 seconds. And when he said that he didn't have the 13 seconds, it just sounded a little off. Damn, they got a big boy out of there. I never been to jail. I have been arrested a bunch of times, but um, never I've never been charged with anything. You have any tattoos? Of course I do. I just can't show you, man. The feds are watching. <laughs> you scared of the feds? Yeah, oh man, you better be scared of the feds, homie, because they're gonna get you. I want to know what that tattoo is right there on your hand. Which one? That one right there. You know which one I'm talking about? The placaso. It's a crown. Does it mean anything? It's a crown. Yeah, there you go. So you did fed time? Yes. What, what gang were you from again? Uh, TF. TF, okay. He had full-blown, like, hanyas and, and, like, Japanese art. I've never seen no Hispanics with dragons and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It just kind of threw me off a little. How many different sets of... Yeah, I've done it. What do you mean by sets? What clicks those? or... Yeah, clicks. And what clique are you from? Yeah, Hispanics don't have dragons like that. It'd be like the click, Asians. Click to me is, is you could be from the hood, but you could be from the locals, the winos, yeah. the, the... You know, I know a little bit about gangs, so just a little bit. Yeah, it might be a cop, who knows? Ah, uh, they, they finna, hey, they finna boot his ass out of there. He finna get booted. Oh, man, that might be the police, homeboy. You never boy. know. Real quick, um, what clique were you from? Because you didn't, you didn't. He didn't let me finish. Oh, yeah, you didn't answer that. <laughs> no, he didn't let me finish. Mm -hmm. Crystal Bunnies. Crystal Bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> you heard of that? I never heard of that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> first tattoo Crystal I got bunnies. was in, uh, when did I get my first tattoo, man? First tattoo was hey, on my just, stomach. Hey, yeah, was my homie did it. My homie Chuko did it. Busted out the old uh, piano fing thing on the on the gun and doesn't look hot whatsoever. I was about 14, 15 years old. So Gil, what organization are you with? Organization? As far yeah. as what? Like gang. Oh, I never heard of that way. I heard where yeah, you're from, right, homie. Yeah, where you from? Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. Very simple, homie. I grew up on Tierra Street. I'm from Tierra Street Locals. I ain't gonna lie. You see that they gon they're gonna boot him or him out. These two are here locked down for sure. He's kind of locked down for sure, but he's not locked down for sure. Like you'll still find me on the block drinking a beer with the homies every once in a while, but in a, in a positive way where I'm actually trying to school him and tell him, listen, brother, there ain't no future in this. Like, I want the little homies to look at me and say, I don't want to be like a stranger. He owns his own home. He's married, taking care of his kids, working and showing the kids how to, you know, it's a better way. I'm what do you do for, what do you work right now? Structural concrete. I'm a journeyman plumber, you, union. Okay, that's what's up. I try to tell everybody to join, like, because yeah. I'm in the 50s getting paid. I do illegal activities. <laughs> I can't do that. No, anymore. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no I'm a, a CNA, a caregiver. So I, I go to prisons and, and speak. I do like Christian content creation too. I mentioned I own a bunch of companies. Uh, my main business is Dealer Synergy. Our clients are big car dealerships all over the United States. So I do like sales training, consulting, business development. I've helped these companies make over $1.5 billion in additional revenue. I'm also a professional speaker in the National Speakers Association, and I wrote a book about Google. So I'd say it's hard to classify. I mean, more than anything else, I'm an entrepreneur. I invest in businesses. How long have you been speaking at prisons and stuff? Uh, I've been doing this since 2016. How did you get clearance for that? Weren't you busted before? Mm -hmm. no, once you're off you, and you get your stuff right, you can do that. Cause I got another, I know that's another right. person to do it. Been to prison, but now he go to the prison that's and speak. Yeah, that's very cool, man. Yeah. If he really does it. I got a question for you. Um, you live out in LA or, or? No, no, I flew in for the show. I live in South Jersey, uh, in Medford, New Jersey. Oh, cause I don't hear an accent or? I'm 46, um, I work my ass off to get rid of my accident. <laughs> yeah, well, good job. Thank you. Like, Who gets rid of their accent? Why you get rid of your accent, Holmes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's already bad enough. You know what I mean? People are judging you and shit like yeah. that. So you gotta turn around and you gotta look the part, feel the part if you're trying to turn around and. How do you say water, bro? Water. 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 Yeah. water. Um, I had a question about where you were talking about tattoos. Um, you, your first tattoo was made with a, a homemade gun? Yeah, the homemade gun. With what did? It was a guitar string. Oh, I thought you said p piano. I was like. No, no, no. We don't. We can't afford a piano. <laughs> like hood, piano. <laughs> nah, Charlie Holmes busted out the old uh, piano fucking thing. Uh, guitar. Yeah. I guess it's piano, but I'm, I'm sticking to guitar right now. I'm still curious why I won't show the tattoos. Hey, he's out of there. I ain't gonna lie. He, he's out of there. He just didn't seem thug out. He seemed a little polished. No disrespect. I'm not saying he was softer like that, but he just did not scream like thugga thugga. <laughs> I'm a little bit, uh, a I little told bit you that I got voted off, but it's all good. My story is just kind of crazy, you know what I mean? So it might have sounded like it was a plant, and I knew that coming in, it was either a double-edged sword. 
This is how the feds used, used to do to me, too. Oh, putting that wire on yeah, you? That's how you do it, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pun intended. They've been joking a little too much, huh? Why are you bullshit? Man, <laughs> keep it 100, man. Raise your hand if you want to keep playing because you think the mold is still in there. Marlon's is definitely dealing. St I mean, it's definitely. That little okay. down. Definitely yeah. still in there. I said, yeah, Stephanie. Do I, huh? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he is. He is the one? No. That's bad ball, man. You can't have a name like bad ball. I'm sure, Paru. Who's some of your homies? Did Did anybody do time in Ironwood? I don't know. They were homies. Is, my homies is in the, all in prisons. So I can't tell you who in that one. You Ooh. only spent time in prison once or? Twice. How much? How many years? Two. Two? At what percent does he give you? What you mean at what percent? It was halftime. Mm, okay. What did you get busted for? You know, be on probation, get caught with a gun, violation. Something. And you're in a level two? Yeah. For a firearm? Yeah, that, cause that's, that ain't, my points weren't high. F finish the sentence for me, all right? The higher the socks. The dumber the fool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the only one right here, I'll be straight honest, would be her right now. Yeah. These two guys, I'm sure from the hood. You could be, you could be, you could be, you could hey. be lying. Me, I know you think I'm not from the hood, but I am from the hood, so kind of this yeah. thing really makes it interesting. That's the only reason why I kept playing. Right. That's exactly what Gil said, because um, I'm not willing to take the chance, homie. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? She was and that's no dude. disrespect. That's no disrespect. <laughs> she's the mom. She's just staying quiet over there. She's just staying I'm quiet. Just soaking it in. <laughs> Nobody never been shot. I'm the only person been shot. I've been shot. I've been shot. How many times did you get shot? Nine. On different occasions. Five. Man. First time I got shot was five times. Two times right here in the shoulder, one on the side of the face, and one on this side of my buttocks, and it came shot, out over here. Shot in the side of the face, man. Another time. I ain't gonna lie. Shot in the side of my face or shot in my ass. Or shot at all, bitch. I'm done, bitch. I'm moving. I'm I'm changing my life, bitch. You crazy. You five, crazy for the still go back five. into this. Then shot. I got shot by some of your people. Oh, yeah. Some Asians. They didn't have. And they weren't trying to shoot me, though. They were shooting at some, they were shooting at some other Asians. But my homeboys was security guards at the club in Westminster. We black. We being nosy, peeking out there. Man, they, one of them must have pulled out a gun, got the shooting. A bullet came through the door, hit me right in this leg. I fell to the ground. It was so funny. I'm like, oh, I'm hit. My homeboy started laughing. Like We called my mama, like, oh, your son got shot. First thing she said, is my car OK? Because I've been shot again. <laughs> but it was funny, though. It's kind of amazing how we can talk about some guy getting shot nine times and be like, yeah. you know, nonchalant. But hopefully the future generations don't, don't have those kind of conversations as much anymore. Man, I, I try to talk to them and tell them. Yeah, I tell my little homies all the time, man. Like, you guys don't want to live this way. But Gang, they think it's banging. cool, though. Like, right. I tell them, you can live like a dope dealer. You don't got to be a dope dealer. You can be a plumber. You can be, you yeah, yeah, we the best. The plumber's the best. Well, you can, you can live like a, you know. Who the fuck are you finna get out? I'm really looking at his tattoos and thinking, does he have fake tattoos? You know, they put some movie star type tattoos on him. And I voted for him that time around. Sorry, Madball. No, I just didn't trust him. <laughs> Damn. That's no disrespect. There was a tie. Gil and Madball. One minute to just pitch why you think you're not the mole. I actually have a YouTube platform called American Troll on Why? Because I lived the troll life to the fullest. The last 20 years, I've been living the American life to the fullest. That way I pushed American Cholo. That's the way I speak the way I speak and, and maybe not sound like as, as your typical Cholo. But if you guys don't think I'm the Cholo, that's actually a good thing because I'm breaking the stereotype yeah. there. <laughs> well, me, y'all could probably hear it in my voice. Do I sound like a square person? You know, you look at me, um, the average. I might scare you on the streets if you don't know me. Like, <laughs> nah. I don't know. I'm just like, no, nah, I could never be a Mo. I don't believe in snitches. Can you guys actually escort Madball and Gil to the green room? Oh, man, I'm gonna go run there real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna go run there real quick. Catch a blind, bro. Catch a blind. <laughs> so why I think it's Madball? I said, how, what, 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 how much percent? And then he goes, what you mean? Yeah. And then I was like, ha and he goes, halftime, half time. Like, yeah, like he said, San two. Quentin. San Quentin level two. Look, oh, good. I was locked up when I caught my my gun charge too, and I I didn't I never went to level two. I always went to level three. What you no, think? I agree. All I right, agree. For sure. Let's bring them in. Oh, Look at that, Mad Ball. <sighs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> that took your, your credit away, fool. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know they're going to get Gil for sure. He's out of here. I wasn't expecting me. Please raise your hand on three, meaning you want to continue playing. One, two, three. Okay. If the box turns red, <coughs> that means real gang members have lost and that the I think it's Gil, bro. The cash prize for themselves. If the box turns green, that means you three split the cash prize and you correctly guessed He might be a cop, price. for real. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
shit, oh. my fault. Uh, dope. On the count of three, the mole can stand up, okay? One, two, three. Nah. <laughs> I told you. This is wrong. <laughs> Never been in jail? Uh, sure, sure, I went to jail. A lot of my homeboys did it. I was around it, so if I really wanted to, I could have, but reason why I didn't gang bang is because my family made sure I didn't gang bang. I just stayed away from it pretty much. That's good. You made the right choice, man. Yeah. You made the right choice. I was a little nervous about this because I had to sit there and lie to actual gang members. When I see a person, these young kids running around like going crazy, I don't really judge them because I was one of those kids, you know? And if I had somebody like me, I feel like back then, I don't think I would have lived that was good. half as miserable. That was good as fuck. Someone like me, an ex-gang member, ex-convict, ex-piece of shit, has a shot at that American dream. As long as there's breath in our lungs, we have an opportunity to change. There's always a second chance, and I'm just hoping to give a young person that uh that hope that he can change his life and hopefully will. Alright, shut the fuck up, Gil.